Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a lush Christmas haul for you. I've actually had this for a little while now and I haven't opened it. It's been sitting in my living room waiting for me to film this video for a good few weeks and I'm finally getting around to it. I can't remember precisely what I ordered. We'll just have to see. I don't know. But I am excited because as far as I can remember, I did order mostly the new products. I didn't get like a whole lot from the range yet. I will be making a much larger order soon. I just couldn't really justify it at the time, so I just picked up. How many times can I say just? I just picked up a few bits from the Christmas range that I really, really wanted to try. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Let's do bath bombs first and I think this might be the one that I can smell yep this is called sherbet dip I believe yeah this is called sherbet dip which is brand new and it's shaped like a giant sherbet dip sweetie and it smells exactly like you would expect it to it's really sherbety and lemony but it's like a powdery lemony scent, if you get what I mean. Mmm. That smells good. So that is sherbet dip. Mmm. What is in this? So this has got grapefruit oil, Sicilian lemon oil, lime oil, and gardenia extract. And that just smells so good. It smells exactly like the name would suggest. This is Thunder Snow Bath Bomb, which is really, really pretty. I really like it. Mm. I like the scent of that, but I was kind of expecting much more of a, like a much bigger scent, like more of an in your face kind of thing. That's pretty subtle actually. Hmm. So it says, when your world is feeling stormy and you can't take the pressure, release into the water and chill out with a peppermint and cocoa absolute weather bomb. Mm. It just doesn't smell very strong at all. Oh, I've put it on my face. I always do this. I don't dislike the scent. It just isn't, it isn't very strong. That is Thunder Snow. It really doesn't smell very pepperminty. I don't know. I feel like I'm possibly a little bit disappointed by that, but then I haven't really given it a chance yet, have I? So we'll have to see what it's like in the water. Next up we have Christmas Sweater Bath Bomb. Whoa. This is not subtle. It's a very kind of like mulled wine, that kind of spiciness. Mmm, I like it. And it's so cute. So it's like red and then it's got, it's supposed to look like a Christmas sweater, you know, like the fair oil kind of pattern. Um, so it's red and then it's got these little white reindeer on it. I kind of wish it was all over though. It's a bit disappointing that it's only on one side, but I can live with that. So this is a very spicy concoction. This has got mustard powder, ginger powder, clove bud oil, coriander seed oil, and Sicilian lemon oil. I can definitely smell the clove and the, um, and the ginger. I'm kind of surprised there's not cinnamon in there. It smells sort of cinnamony, but then I suppose it hasn't quite got the warmth it's kind of more of a fresh spiciness like if that makes any sense so like you've got the clove bud and the ginger and then the lemon kind of makes it more like um almost like a fruit tea you know what i mean probably not 
Mm, that is good. That is it for the bath bombs. And then I got three bubble bars as well. So the first one, which I really like the name of it, but it just kind of freaks me out a little bit, like the actual design of it. I don't know why. And this is my two front teeth bubble bar. Mmm. Ooh, has that got like an anisele type thing in it? It's a little bit smaller than I was expecting. I thought it would be a bit bigger than that. So this is basically playing off that um, Christmas song, All I Want For Christmas Is My Two Front Teeth. Um, which possibly younger people might not have heard of, but I don't know. I just remember my uncle used to sing it all the time at Christmas. So I thought this had a kind of aniseed type thing in it, um, but it's actually lavender. So you've got lavender oil, Tonka Absolute, Vanilla Absolute and Neroli oil. So it's that lavender that's sitting underneath that kind of gives it that kind of herbal type scent. It's still very, very sweet. I like it. I like it. The next step, and possibly my favourite, I think, in terms of the design of it. <laughs> and this is massive. <laughs> uh, this is the Man in the Moon bubble bar, which I just... I just love. This is Man in the Moon. But yeah, I really love him. He's so cute and, and gold and I just love it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. This is my favourite. This is my favourite. This smells like Calacus. Oh, I love it. Mmm, yes. So it's adorable and it smells like Calacus and, it, and it's officially my favourite. This is my favourite. So this has got lime oil and neroli oil and olibanum oil as well as cocoa butter. So it should be super softening. But if you're a Lush fan, you'll know what I mean when I say it smells like Calacus, which is my all-time favourite Lush scent. Well... It's sort of a tie between that and Lord of Misrule, but I, I just love Calacus. I love it so much. Um, yeah, so this is my favorite. <sighs> I've just got gold on my nose, but I don't care because this smells so good. Anyway, gushing over. Um, oh, oh wow, okay, this is huge. I did not expect this to be this big that's what she said um yeah this is plum snow which i guess is a play on their other product do they still sell it or did they discontinue it the plum rain shower gel i would assume this is the same scent as that and they've just bought it out for christmas as plum snow which is quite clever um but this is a giant bubble bar like this is huge sort of the size of the comforter but like round um ooh mmm I don't think I ever smelt plum rain shower gel so I can't say if this smells exactly the same but it smells really good and it's purple and it's got a big snowflake on it. This is probably one that I'm going to buy for people like my mom and Pete's mom, who really like Lush products. Um, because it's just a nice, this is quite a giftable item. Oh, that is so good. So this has got something called Osmanthus Absolute, which I have no idea what that is. Not a clue. Is that a type of plum or something? I don't know. Um, but it's also got pettigrain oil and Sicilian mandarin oil. But it just, I can't describe it, but. 
Hmm. It's sort of like a plum version of the comforter, if that makes any sense. Or possibly like the sweetie pie shower jelly, if anyone remembers that. It's quite sugary and very fruity. And it's quite a clean scent. Hmm. Like if I hadn't have smelt Man on Man in the Moon before this, I probably would have said this is my favourite for this Christmas. Cause that smells really good. So this should be one of my other favourite Christmas products, which I buy every year multiple times. Where is it? Yeah. I am slightly disappointed that they've really put the price of this again this year, like... Ooh. I think when I first started buying this it was only like 5 95 or something. Um, but it just seems to go up every every year. How much was it this year? It was like 7 like 6 95 or £7 or something like that. And that's only for like the small tub. Now admittedly you don't need a lot, like per use, but I'll still get through easily like two or three tubs of this before it's gone, so I do wish they'd kept it at a slightly lower price point. Um, but this is the Bouche de Noël cleanser, which I love and I wish they would make available all year round because it just really, really suits my skin. Oh, it's not... It's not pretty to look at, I must say, but it smells like a Christmas cake. Oh my god. I, oh. I love it. Mm, it's just so Christmassy. So this is Bouche de Noël Cleanser. As I say, it's not the prettiest to look at. It comes like wrapped in seaweed because it's on. It, they make it in like a big, huge log thing, so they just chop off a bit and pop it in a pot. But it is so good for my skin. It's like really exfoliating without being drying, which is exactly what I need right now. This has got ground almonds, kaolin, fresh mandarin, dried cranberries, cocoa butter, brandy, almond oil vertifer oil, cedarwood oil, and nori seaweed. But it's the brandy and the almond that just work together with the cranberry to make it smell like a Christmas cake. And it is just delicious smelling. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so you just basically pinch off a little bit of that, pop it in the palm of your hand, Add a little bit of water and like mix it into a paste and then just scrub it all around your face. But it just leaves my face like, I feel like it gives me quite glowy skin. And my face has been a bit dry at the minute, like my skin, so I feel like I do need a good exfoliator. This is quite gentle, so I like it. And I will definitely be using this like possibly every other night from now until the new year. Because I love it. I just love it. So that is everything I bought in this purchase, but no doubt I will be making another order sometime in the near future. So if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.